Normally with these new brands, when we don't know how to pronounce something. We butcher it. Well, no, <laughs> oh. not necessarily. Well, well yeah, I butcher yeah. it, yeah. Actually, we do. Unless we go and, and look at other channels' um, reviews and see how they pronounce it. We're like, oh, let's go with that. Let's, yeah, that sounds right. Especially the, the rake knives. Mm -hmm. Remember those? Yeah. Rake. Rake. Ryuk. Ryuk. Yep. So, this is... Aerosu. 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 I like that. Yeah, let's go with that. Aerosu. Aerosu. New brand that we just started seeing as of this year. Frankie, this is the tornado. Bold is how we roll. Nobody's going to get that reference. They should. No. Nope. They should. It's from 2010 and it was an obscure <laughs> junk food reference. Yeah. Are you seriously going to dig out yeah, that Yeah, I am going to. It, See? it came with a package of junk food gas station Tornadoes. Were you, you guys remember the tornadoes? They were like the taquitos, but like spicy. Yeah. Remember they, that? They were really good. They were. If but it, it was bold was how they ro rolled. If you want to get fat. Uh-huh. All right. This is not going to be in the video. No. Okay. This is the tornado knife by... Erosu. New for 2018. <laughs> Somebody's gonna gonna tell I know it. he's gonna the video starts at 120. Yeah. Alright. Well we tend to do that. Might as well keep the momentum going. Yeah. So these knives, I think there's four of them as we do this video, four color varieties. Mm -hmm. They cost what do they cost, Frankie? Right at fifty bucks. Fifty dollars. That's forty nine ninety five. That's the Blade HQ <laughs> price. Yeah, um, so they're intriguing. That price is, uh, well, it's a very competitive price range. There's a lot out there for that price range. Yeah, and um, it's got a lot of people's attention. I know we've been getting comments on this when mm -hmm. we posted it on Instagram, and there was a lot of comments there. Yeah, hey, when are you going to do the video for the tornado? When's the video? Do you recommend it? All this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Yeah. Yep. And we should mention, this was a gift, a generous gift from yes. a viewer. Mm -hmm. Viewer, you know who you are? Yeah, I don't think Thank we you. should say that your name because it's kind of... I don't know. We weren't going to bring No, that up. we were not going to. Okay. Your your YouTube name could be considered controversial. Yes. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, <not, laughs> I'm going to cut that out. Okay. <clears throat> but here it is. The tornado. <laughs> I like the tornado like you know, cyclone I, that's going on in the the pivot there. I hadn't thought about that. You yeah. really hadn't thought about I that? I hadn't thought about that. That's It's a, a tornado right there. Pivot, there's the logo. Yeah. On the other side, Look, what's, what's on this side too? Tornado. It's it's a cyclone, Frankie, like a tornado. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Good job. You. Uh huh. MRBS. What's that stand for? Multi roll bearing system. Multi roll bearing system. Multi roll. Mo roll. Mo Bold is how Frankie <laughs> rolls. Multi roll bearing system. We've barely given him any good information. Oh my gosh! Yeah. On this knife. Okay. Thumbs up. Whoa. <laughs> That was close. That was close. Somebody rewind Bold that. Bold is how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been a disaster. I yeah. almost like okay. sliced my hand on it. Yeah. All right. Okay. I should do a slow Let's actually that. get into the knife facts. Okay. Frankie, fifty bucks. 50 a lot of bucks. people are interested. We were given an opportunity to check it out for free from a mm -hmm. generous viewer. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I've I've carried it and used it. Frankie, you've used it. Yes, I have. I've cut up some cardboard with it. You um, broke down a couple of boxes, and what did you think? It actually sliced very nicely. It did. And what i got to say is that it is heavy, and so heavy actually slices nicely. Heavy big knives uh -huh. sometimes really work. It gives some work. substance. They, they work for you yep. when it comes to breaking down big products projects you know stuff like that so yeah um we'll get to the weight later but i agree but let's actually put it up and measure it so people can see how big it is there we go so almost four inch blade now if you actually measure the cutting surface it's, it's really like three and a half it's like three and a half because you got a big old finger choil here frankie mm -hmm. and i do appreciate this what do i always say it's human size finger this one's choil. human size that's actually rare it a is. lot of times there's a finger choil and it's like yeah we just put a little et phone home finger choil <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah so i appreciate that uh horncliffe blade mm -hmm. okay like horncliffe I, I like the horncliffe blade i'm a big fan of warnies they are cool yeah we've got um 
Yeah, Frankie's. I, I was about to make a joke there, but I'm not gonna. Well, you would about she's, Warren Cliff Blades she's too. She's something for hornies. Uh, I'm horny for hornies. <laughs> <laughs> <You said it. laughs> I knew that's where you what were going the, with it. What about the Warren Cliff? Um, on Wednesdays is the only day that you can post pictures of these blades. Warren Cliff Wednesday. Yes. It is you a fact. Cannot post any other days. No, it is a fact. So mm -hmm. yeah. So just so you know, but you do get one day a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Dedicated to Warren Cliff. Super serious video. <laughs> What's the blade stock on that? It's actually 0.17. It's, it's kind of thick. Fairly thick, but it tapers down quite a bit uh -huh. because there's so much room here. Um, but it has a hole in it. It speed, lightens it. It's a speed hole. <laughs> I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, it, it cut very well. Uh, the grind on it, very even side yeah. to side, and it is 440C. Where does that say that at? Mm. Somewhere on I don't it, know. it says 440C. On the box. We'll show. No, it says it on the blade somewhere. Does it? Right there. Oh, on right the down there, 440 C on the flipper tab, yep. Okay, now, where was it at? Oh, there. You guys see those rust spots? Yeah. I did think that was rather interesting. I carried this knife for one full day, mm -hmm. and then we've used it a little extra around the house. But in the park where you get sweaty. Now, yeah, I was thinking, why did it rust? Salty sweaty. Just on the one <laughs> side. Okay, just on the one side. All right, I was thinking, that was kind of odd. I did carry mm -hmm. it for a full day, otherwise it's been in the knife room. Yeah. Uh, so the clip side is where it rusted. That's up against my sweaty body. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. But that's the side that it rusted on? Yeah. Wait. This is the side that it rusted on because it was up against my sweaty body. Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, because it goes up against your leg. Is that your tie. Thank you. <laughs> you got some phone book paper, though. I was going to cut it because it's actually still really sharp, even though we cut up a bunch of cardboard. We put it to some work. I was actually kind of surprised. Stop it against your dress real quick. Jeez. Uh, Just a quick... There you go. Now try it again. <laughs> okay. No, you can still use this How piece of paper. Watch That's us. wasteful. I'm not sure. There you go. Just needed a light strop. Strop on the boobs. <laughs> I wasn't specifying <laughs> that. All right. It is very sharp, and we've we've actually tested 440C a couple of years back, and um, mm -hmm. it's great. It works yeah, well. It actually, well. it was with Ganzo's Ganzo That's 440C. True, yes. uh, not to say that their 440C is different. It might be very similar because I believe this is also made in China. Yeah, but yes. just kind of interesting that there was the the corrosion there. Um, okay, that's the blade, except for the speed hole. All right, Frank okay. is talking about the speed hole. Looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Flipper, okay. Mm -hmm. Flipper only, unfortunately. Yes, you can't spidey flick it out of this hole. No, you can't really do anything with this hole. You can't even mm -hmm. nail nick it. The hole is for looks only. Interesting. <laughs> so there's not any cutouts in the G10 scales here for any kind of middle flicking or even nail nick. You nope, can you kind can. of pinch the blade a little bit. It's still awkward. I it's tried. a little awkward yeah. that way, but yeah, it's it's mainly flipper tab only. Mm -hmm. And it flips very well, though. Yeah, it does. It has really good detent. Get a focus on Thanks that. Thanks to that multi-row bearing system. Frank, you get your hand behind it. makes it smooth. It. I'm determined. There it is. There it is. What are you looking for? The flipper tab. Oh, Got a little okay. bit of jimping on there. Just yep. a little bit. Yep. Yep. And that giant pivot with the cyclone, <laughs> like a tornado. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's on multi-row bearing system, which means there's multi-rows of bearings. Really? That's what it means? Yep. That's amazing. I thought I'd uh, describe that for yeah, you. Yeah, good. No, it's, uh, it's very smooth, especially on big, heavy blades like this. It is a fairly heavy blade. Yeah, it big is. Big blade stock and you know, it's four kinda, inches long. Did we already weigh it? Yeah, we did. Did we? Did we? I'm no, not sure. you and I weighed it. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can uh Let's see if I can figure out. Scale. It's very difficult there to operate it. 6.05. While we have the scale out, let's get okay. that competitive knife up there. This is the Kaiser. Let's show them. Um, critical. Now, when I say competitive similar. knife in, in size, this knife is uh, 200 bucks probably at least. But there's a more expensive version of this too that's very comparable. There is actually, and we'll talk a little bit about that. It's called the Elite, mm -hmm. and it's um, a, just a much more expensive version of the same thing yep. it appears like. But I was just bringing this out because it's sadly the only other one clip that I can come up with right now. Well, yeah. I yeah, don't know where exactly. they are. But way the titanium. Uh, okay. Kaiser. 6.20. So 6.05, 6.20, only yeah. slightly more yeah. on a full titanium. So it's it's a hefty knife, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what else we got? Well, let's show them uh, actually handle thickness. Part of that is okay. the reason is the handle thickness. Well, the thing that's different about it, too, is that 
it only has the the liner on one side that has the liner lock. So steel liner, stainless steel liner. Just on the one side. On the clip side. I'll illuminate it side. for you. Thank you. And on the other side, there's you can see nothing. Nothing. Nothing and at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. That's a Ned Flanders reference. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, well, you got the calipers over there? Yeah. It is a thicker handle, handle width overall, so that's going to account for some of the weight. There we 0. go. 0.56. Yeah, just for curiosity's sake, I bet this is a little more closer to average. Yep. 0. Exactly. 0. So, yeah. But it also comes in um, three other colors besides this one. Which this one is called the Jade. Yes. Your yeah. favorite color. Yeah, it also comes in black, which Tan. what knife? What knife doesn't come in black as well? Tan and orange. Orange, yeah, yep. that's right. Which looking at all the colors, I like all of them. Mhm. Mm yeah. I kind of like this color. I think it should glow in the dark though. Whenever I see like the jade colors. And she's being serious. I feel like it should glow in the dark. And I actually kind of agree. Mhm. Mm I actually don't think that a knife that glows in the dark is tacky. No, I think it's not tacky at all. Or at least a portion of it would glow I in the dark. I think it'd be yeah. cool. The, the only thing about this one, you can see through it a little bit. You yeah. You can see some of the parts. I don't know. It's a little... It is kind of weird. So you yeah. can... And the backspacer is the same material. Same... Uh, yeah. yeah. Same jade color. Mm-hmm. It is cool. A little bit of traction there. What are we talking? In Oops. That was my fault. Yeah. <laughs> it flips extremely well. <laughs> no, it does. Um, with the action real quick, though, Frankie, you cannot shake this thing out. No. Okay. And let's just show it's here. It's only right hand only. Only, it's only right, right hand, hand only. <laughs> All right. There's a Kaiser, for instance. Still flips extremely well. Still very smooth. Yes. But I will say this knife, you you cannot shake it out. I've tried, okay? Um, there's a little bit of detent rock there. Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can hear it. The Skaha does that, for instance, and it's hmm, still a lovely uh -huh. knife. I don't, it doesn't bother me. For some reason, detent rock doesn't bother me that much. Hmm. Yeah. Um, where are we at, Frankie? Yeah, you said uh, it is tip up. That's excellent. Yes. Frankie, the this model completely ignores lefties. Yeah, they do not like lefties. They say, you want to mm -hmm. carry a lefty? Drill it yourself. No. No no tornadoes for you. Drill it yourself. You bleep, bing, bleep, bleep. Yeah. Cave dwellers. Cave dwellers. <laughs> it, you'd have to watch our videos regularly for that. All right, the clip, stainless steel. Um, not much to say about the clip, just basic. Uh, Super basic. Fits well. It's got the logo on there. Some of you will like that. Some of you will not. I, I still don't know how to pronounce it, though. I, so I thought I we, we already mastered this. Arod Arosu. Arosu. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like you really have it mastered. You can see it's only got the one um, the one screw, the one fastener, but it is cut out. Uh -huh. So the clip actually kind of fits inside there. Yeah. And then it's just tightened down. So, yeah, the clip is whatever. Uh -huh. yeah. They did maximize the handle, blade to handle ratio, I see. That's good, yeah. Excellent, I always appreciate that. Mm -hmm. That blade stock just barely fitting in there. Yeah. But yeah, flips I like extremely well. the color well. combo. Yeah. I think it looks cool. Flips well overall. I mean, for 50 bucks, I'm saying it's it's good. It's it's about kind of what we're getting used to seeing. Um, mm -hmm. I was going to compare, do we have the Tangram over there? Yeah. I'm putting it in, in the line of, you know, the, the Tangram knives from Kaiser. Yeah, because these are right about $30, $45. $40, 45 somewhere in there. This one's coming in at $50. Um, you know, we're using the Japanese 440 Akuto steel. This is the 440C. This and the is Rake. The Rake knife. All right. That the one's... one two one I want to say that one's coming in less like than 40 like 38 I think. Something. Last we checked. Yeah. Very smooth. Very good knife. I forget. What's the steel on these? I forget. It's been a little while since we've done that. Isn't it the 14C28? Yeah. Yes, it is. Frankie, the... Swedish steel? The Swedish steel. Yeah. 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 So some people will appreciate that steel. I know it was mm -hmm. popular. Kershaw, why don't you bring those back? Yep. But yeah, I, for 50 bucks, I'm going to say probably decent. I yep, think the edge retention, bad. for the amount of use that you and I have both put on it collectively... Yeah, but oil it. Uh, apparently oil it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, if without getting into a huge blade steel discussion, we've been talking lately that the biggest... The biggest attribute to to blade steels that is obvious to users, yeah, in our opinion, and our opinion is a hundred percent. It's it matters. The okay. only opinion out there that matters. It's corrosion. corrosion resistance. Corrosion resistance yeah. are the one that you're going to see the most from blade steel to blade steel. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, edge retention. It's it's Whatever. harder, you it's can harder always, to detect. Yeah. There's too many variables, 
it, it's just it's harder to it's harder to be consistent from one knife to another. Mm -hmm. Corrosion resistance, that's obvious. Yeah, I just find it a really big factor when you have a lot of knives that you don't carry all the time. So mm -hmm. I just find it a good thing to have corrosion resistance. Um, we've had this knife for two weeks, and it did not have that corrosion to yeah. start with, obviously. Yeah, I think that's everything mm -hmm. on this one. Yeah. I wanted to say, uh, quick note about the expensive version, $220. We've seen this on also with the Stediman Company and some oh, other Chinese yeah. companies mm -hmm. lately. It just seems like they're doing this budget, budget price way down and here. Then and way up here. here is this, you know, this other model that they're doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um with Stediman, I will say our one experience right now is this one. We haven't done the video as of the filming of this video, but this thing retails for three hundred and thirty dollars, and just just no, no. Yeah. It's cool looking. Um, that's There's not, no reason for that to be three hundred dollars. No, it's just it's a rough draft of a knife design. Yeah. Um, this one here, the the pimp PMP. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? Beast. Beast. Yeah. How could I forget? There's no way that this warrants the three hundred and fifty dollar price. Mm -hmm. All right, um, yeah. But this, easily two hundred bucks. Kaiser is is two hundred dollars. It's just got that fit and finish. We, and we is up there. We knives, yeah. yeah. Well, here, here is a mm -hmm. We knives production knife in a in a budget version, one twenty five. Yep. Yeah, it's it just kind of warrants the price. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So fifty bucks. Yeah. Yeah, budget version. Not so much about the. We don't we don't know yet. Yep. So yeah, we'll get these out of here. But nice to have an introduction and thank you for the the, the gift. Yeah, we, we love it. And it's always uh, Christmas when we go to the post office and mm -hmm. find something new. Ooh, cool. Yep. Exactly. And we get to keep uh, keep up on the testing for you guys for new stuff. So always good. All right, Frankie's gonna break down some more boxes and mm -hmm. uh, we'll call it good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just went with that. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm used to it. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> That's what she does. No, I'm just kidding. Go make dinner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be that agreeable. Oh, In real look. life, you're not. You would, you would snap back at me with some awful... I would... I make you dinner. You know that. Yeah. But I make dinner, too, though. Yeah. Would yeah. you make me dinner? Yes, please. I mean, yes, dear. Okay. That's what I meant. Yes, please. Right. <laughs> Awkward finish to this video. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys. Bye.